So firewalls in particular work based on the premise of how the traffic passes over the internet. So traffic passes over the internet in packets. So imagine you're traveling in a car. The car is a packet of information that reaches the toll booth or the border crossing where it has a barrier and the inspector is going to check the color of your car to see if you're the right color to pass through this particular barrier. And that's essentially how the early firewalls worked very on very simple uh, terms like that. And then as 1994 and onwards, you start to get into the application layer. So that's a deeper level of inspection. So that's not just looking at the color of the car, it's looking inside the car at the passenger and the driver and see, checking that they match the description of what they claim to be. And then finally, from 2012 onwards, we're getting into the next generation of firewalls. And that's uh, firewalls that can support things like intrusion detection and intrusion prevention, as well as looking to mitigate the most common vulnerabilities. So it will look at the, the patterns in packets to say, okay, that packet looks suspicious because of its pattern, and then it will drop it based on that as well. Something that's worth mentioning about firewalls is that people assume they can simply plug them in and that they will do all the work for them. Um, but you do need someone who knows what they're doing to set it up correctly, to make sure it meets your requirements and your needs, and to also to monitor it going forward to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's about getting the most out of the tool that you've invested in.